The OnePlus 7 is just around the corner and it's super hype. But you remember the smartphone that started it all, the OnePlus One. The smartphone that took the world by storm and the phone that made OnePlus what it is today. Well, how does the OnePlus One fare in 2019? Let's check out. Hey guys, this is Rupesh from Vivam.com and this right here is the OnePlus One. The first budget flagship, the first flagship killer. So I've been using the OnePlus One for a few days now and this is my experience of using the OnePlus One in 2019. Well, before we get started, I'd suggest you to hit the bell icon to get notified every time we post an awesome new video. Now that you've done that, let me tell you all about my experience with the OnePlus One in 2019. So this here is the OnePlus One, the original flagship killer. Nostalgic, right? This is the phone that truly changed the smartphone market back in 2014. Yes, it's been five years since the OnePlus One arrived. And so when I came across a OnePlus One online available at just rupees 5,000, I thought, why not check it out and see how the OnePlus One holds up in 2019. And so here we are. Now back in 2014, the OnePlus One had flagship specs at a not so flagship price. And well, you know what? The OnePlus One specs hold up just fine even in 2019. For those of you who don't remember the specs of the OnePlus One, let me just give you a quick read -in. So the OnePlus One has the famed sandstone finish design, which was a huge hit back in the day. A 5.5 inch 1080p IPS LCD display that to this day looks fairly decent. It is powered by the quad-core Snapdragon 801 processor, the flagship processor of 2014 with 3 gigs of RAM. There's a 13 megapixel Sony camera on the back, a 5 megapixel front camera and a 3100 mAh battery. Now these were top of the line specs in 2014 and in 2019 they are still pretty decent. Anyway, when I started using the OnePlus One, I wanted to test it to current standards. See how it fares against PUBG, Asphalt 9, etc. And see if it has 4G, you know, the camera with ported mode, etc, etc. So the first thing I did with the OnePlus One was installing a custom ROM. The OnePlus One in 2014 came with Android 4.4 KitKat and the last official update it received was Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Well, I wasn't going to use a phone with Android 6.0 Marshmallow in 2019. And thankfully, the OnePlus One has always had great developer support in the community. So there have always been a lot of custom ROMs available for the OnePlus One. So I went ahead and installed Lineage OS 16 based on Android 9 Pi on the phone. And it was all ready for 2019. Next up, I installed the popular apps like Instagram, Twitter, WhatsApp and the Bebo app, of course. And everything on the phone was fairly smooth most of the time. Yes, some apps close in the background and there is some stutter here and there. But honestly, I and the whole Beavom team was impressed by how smooth it all felt. Well, the phone definitely seems usable, but what about the latest high-end intensive games? Well, I installed PUBG Mobile and Asphalt 9 on this phone and well, I was surprised. See, by default, PUBG Mobile runs on low settings, which is not a surprise. And well, the PUBG performance too left me amazed. Just look at this. The gameplay is so smooth and certainly playable. I also tried playing the game at balanced graphics, which is the highest graphics setting of PUBG on OnePlus One, and the game worked flawlessly. Seriously, the PUBG performance here is brilliant, especially because it's a five-year-old processor on this phone. I also played Asphalt 9 on the OnePlus One, and as you can see, the graphics are low, but the gameplay is still fairly smooth. It's certainly playable. So yes, even after all these years, the OnePlus One remains usable, which is seriously stunning. Anyway, next up, I wanted to check how the OnePlus One plays against the networks of today. I mean, we all know that the OnePlus One has 4G LTE support, but there's no VO LTE support. But still, I put in a GeoSIM on the phone. Well, with the GeoSIM, the internet worked fine, but since there's no VoLTE support, I wasn't able to make calls from the native phone app. However, there's a workaround for that. You can make calls from the Geo Voice app, which uses data to make calls, and it's perfect for phones without VoLTE, and it works really well, so that's nice. I also tried out a Vodafone and an Airtel SIM and they both showed 4G LTE networks and both calling and mobile data worked flawlessly on the OnePlus One on those SIMs, so that's great. So yeah, the OnePlus One might be 5 years old and it does not have voice over LTE, but it still manages to make do with the connectivity options of today. Overall, the OnePlus One after all these years still seems like a capable smartphone. I mean, it's not all good. There are quite a few modern day smartphone features that I miss on the OnePlus One. I missed the fingerprint scanner to quickly unlock the phone. There's no super fast face unlock. I missed the super fast dash charge that we have come to expect from OnePlus phones. Plus, while the cameras on the OnePlus One work, 
they show you how far we have come when it comes to smartphone cameras in the last five years. I mean, the rear camera is okayish and comparable to other entry-level smartphones of today, but it lacks features such as the portrait mode and the selfie camera. Well, let's just say the selfie camera on the OnePlus One hasn't aged so well. So to sum things up, when I started using the OnePlus One, I wasn't expecting a five-year-old, five thousand rupee phone to handle games like PUBG so well. I know the phone runs PUBG on low settings, but it's so smooth and so nice. It's just really surprising. Look, I know this is an old phone and it has its issues. There's no official support at all. The cameras haven't stood the test of time, and the battery life is just not good enough. Having said that, using the OnePlus One in 2019 was an amazing experience. Honestly, this phone really surprised me with its performance. I mean, after this, I want to try out a lot more older phones. So, if you like this little experiment of ours, let us know in the comments if you'd like us to try, say, the first Galaxy flagship or the first Nexus phone. Yeah, comment below. Well, trying out the OnePlus One in 2019 was a lot of fun. And if you're looking to try out a OnePlus One for yourself, I'll make sure to leave a few links to OnePlus Ones you can buy. So make sure to check them out. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and make sure to share it with your friends. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.